Thank you for watching this week's WeatherQuest Farming Forecast recorded on Tuesday the 20th of July. A little bit of a different edition of the Farming Forecast this week due to a few technical issues. Uh, we weren't able to uh, work our green screen as normal so I won't be in vision this week but um, I will take you through the forecast with a voiceover of the graphics here. Uh, highlighting the next uh, week or so's worth of weather and giving you a shout out as well uh, to conditions that are expected as we go towards the middle of August too. So to get started, I'm just going to highlight um, a graphic that Zoe showed in last week's farming forecast, highlighting that very unsettled spell of weather that we had between the 7th and the 13th of July, where we saw quite some heavy rain across parts of Britain and Ireland. In fact, uh, the yellows, oranges, and reds on the graphic here indicating between 20 and 50 millimeters of rain in places. It was quite scattered about, and um, uh, with the shower and thunderstorm nature of the weather during that time period, there were some localized heavier totals where you would go just down the road and see much uh, lighter rain. But either way, a fairly unsettled week of weather there contrasting that to what we've seen uh, between the 13th and 19th of July, which was largely dry conditions across Britain and Ireland. So you can see many areas white here indicating completely dry conditions. Uh, we did have a few heavy showers and thunderstorms that developed across parts of Sussex and Kent on Monday afternoon. So that's highlighted with some of the brighter colors there. And at the time of recording this uh, video as well, we have seen quite a few scattered showers and thunderstorms across the East Midlands, Southeast England, and East Anglia as well. So I suspect if we were to update this through the 20th of July, there will be some spots in the South and East that will have had uh, quite a bit more rain as well. But that's been pretty localized too. And there have been plenty of areas in that part of the world that managed to miss it today too. And it's been a big challenge from the uh, haymaking standpoint. So hopefully um, you would have already gotten your hay up or bailed um, uh, if you did have some down on the ground and you got the rain today. But if you managed to avoid the thunderstorms on Tuesday, you're likely to get away with it for a couple more days. And I'll highlight that over the next couple of graphics. I also just wanted to mention about the heat too. So the Met Office has recently issued a extreme heat warning for parts of southwestern England as well as up into Ireland uh, and parts of South Wales as we go through uh, the next couple of days. And in fact, this temperature of 31.2 Celsius on Saturday is provisionally the highest temperature recorded in Northern Ireland um, uh, as well. So uh, the Met Office looking into that just to verify that record. But a hot spell of weather across much of the UK and these temperatures into the low 30s uh, across Southern England. I think the Sunday and Monday temperature were recorded at Heathrow Airport. Um, so some pretty hot conditions into the low 30s to go along with that dry weather that I've showed you uh, on the previous graphic. And over the next couple of days, again, as I mentioned, the Met Office does have that heat warning out for southwestern parts of Britain. And you can see the darker shades of orange in here indicating that that heat's sort of sticking around for a couple of more days. But as we go towards the end of the week, what you'll notice is that those uh, darker shades of orange indicating the warmer air mass will be pushed off to the east. Um, and replaced by this sort of lighter uh, yellow shading here, which is indicating some cooler air that'll be working its way in off the Atlantic. Basically, it's air that's probably started uh, in the middle of the North Atlantic and then brought around with that low uh, into southern Britain as we go toward the weekend. So a little bit of a cool off on the way uh, for, for much of the British Isles, uh, uh, but also uh, some more unsettled weather to come as well. So we'll just highlight that uh, over the next uh, couple of days too. So high pressure in control for Wednesday, and that will bring us largely dry conditions, maybe an odd isolated shower just popping off uh, across parts of uh, England and over into Wales and Ireland too, but those will be very isolated in nature, nowhere near as widespread as what we saw on Tuesday. Many areas will stay dry on Wednesday, uh, but what we notice here is this area of low pressure that's out in the Atlantic, and as we go through into Thursday and put that into motion, that area of low pressure will begin to dig down into the Bay of Biscay. High pressure still generally in control of our conditions over Britain and Ireland, keeping most places dry again. An isolated shower can't be ruled out, but more dry than wet uh, for Wednesday and Thursday. But uh, the big change comes into Friday, and we'll see that area of low pressure over the Bay of Biscay start to work its way northwards. And that'll push a front into southern England and parts of Wales and even southern parts of Ireland as we go through the latter part of Friday. 
Um, so some wetter conditions more generally returning to our part of the world it looks like as we go through Friday and particularly into the weekend as this low pressure from the Atlantic becomes more dominant. And so that's how things will go into Saturday too. We'll see that area of low pressure become slow moving across southern parts of England. So scattered showers or longer spells of rain in places not out of the question for England and Wales. You'll notice though across Scotland and Ireland some drier conditions expected there. So we may hold on to uh, a bit more settled weather across northern and western areas even into the weekend. But that low pressure pretty slow moving still uh, in control of the weather it looks like into Sunday with further showers or spells of rain expected there too. So overall a fairly uh, big change to a much more unsettled and slightly cooler pattern of weather uh, as we go towards the weekend and the early part of next week. And that's how I did in the spraying index too. Early on in the period some pretty good spray conditions it looks like as we go through Wednesday, Thursday and uh, early Friday but you'll see uh, towards the end of this which is later Friday and into Saturday the greens eroding away from southern England uh, and Wales um, and becoming much more confined to Scotland and Ireland towards the end of the period as that low pressure begins to bring rain more widely. So if you've got some spraying to do, if you've still got some hay on the ground that you need to pick up, uh, that's going to be something that you're going to want to get done probably before Friday uh, as things will turn generally more unsettled. We'll have more detail on that, um, uh, the specifics about where the rain will occur and uh, how widespread it'll be as we get a little closer to time and you can ring our forecasters on 09 065 777675. Uh, between 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. every day of the week, we'll answer that call, and um, those are charged at £1.55 per minute, plus any network access charges. So let us know what you're up to, uh, and we can give you a tailored forecast for uh, the work you might be carrying on the farm uh, at the moment. So just to have a look um, for the next few weeks now, our pressure anomaly chart for week two. So looking at the 26th of July through to the 1st of August, we're expecting lower than average pressure, which isn't a surprise um, at the weekend and early part of next week with this slow moving area of low pressure that'll be uh, just drifting into the southern North Sea will bring us lower than average pressure, it looks like. Uh, for the last week of July and the results of that will be wetter than average conditions for a good portion of Britain. You can see some quite heavy rain possible on the forward side of that uh, trough and area of low pressure as well across eastern Germany, uh, western parts of Poland and the Czech Republic. But I think overall we will see uh, rain and showers becoming more widespread. That's not to say it's going to rain every single day. I do think there'll be some brief periods of uh, ridges of high pressure in between these various lows as they come in uh, from the Atlantic to give some drier conditions. So it's not doom and gloom every single day, but it is going to be one of those situations where you're going to have to grab the dry weather in between periods of rain, it looks like. Uh, as we turn the page into August. Also those uh, hot temperatures we've seen the last few days, they're going to evaporate over the next few days and we'll see uh, temperatures much more uh, near average, so knock down into the low 20s for highs across southern parts of Britain. Uh, still perhaps a touch warmer than normal across Scotland and Ireland where we'll see a bit more sunshine there. But as we go into week three, so this is the first full week of August, uh, computer models still highlighting the um, uh, likelihood of above average rainfall across southern parts of England and Wales especially. Uh, always that little bit drier further north and west. I think low pressure will generally still be the dominant um, feature on the on the pressure charts across Central Europe and still bringing some uh, showers and some rain at times uh, to southern parts of Britain as we go through that week and also potentially a little bit of a, a cooler feed of air coming in from the north uh, northeast as well around that low pressure. So again temperatures probably in the low 20s, no sign of any hot weather really into that first week of August and I think that's probably going to be a similar situation into the fourth week of the forecast as well so that 9th to 15th of August still highlighting being above average in terms of rainfall um, uh, and probably near average temperature wise so what I would stress for the harvest at the moment is that it's looking a bit unsettled at least through the first half of August so you'll need to grab the, your chances when you get them 
uh, through those periods, but uh, it will be a bit tricky. And if you want to uh, subscribe to any of our WeatherQuest services, you can get in touch with us and um, find our uh, website on uh, www.weatherquest.co.uk. Go there, get in touch with us, and we can let you know what we can do to help in terms of any subscription services to give you daily updates on the weather. So this chart's just highlighting that swap over to uh, less hot conditions. You can see the hot weather highlighted here at the beginning of the period uh, across uh, uh, Britain and Ireland. Um, so this is the various regions uh, generally from sort of north to south um, here. And you can see that the hot weather sort of confined to the next few days. And then uh, we get away from uh, anything that's above average temperature wise, it looks like, for a good portion of the rest of the forecast period, uh, at least into the first week of August. The other thing to highlight as well is that uh, we've had this dry weather around um, a few thunderstorms uh, being highlighted on the Tuesday here, but in general, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and much of Friday probably um, going to look uh, pretty dry across uh, much of Britain and Ireland, but that swap over to something much more unsettled by the weekend, and in general, a more changeable looking forecast into August. You can see that there's a little bit of a return to something a bit more dry and settled, it looks like, as we go towards uh, the middle part of August, so hopeful there that things will settle back down a little bit uh, from, a harvest uh, from a harvest perspective. So the UK overview, just to sum all that up in words, hot at first in many places, although staying largely dry with just some isolated showers through Friday, um, and then turning more unsettled from Saturday onwards, uh, staying generally wetter than average through mid-August, uh, drier at times in the north, and temperatures near average into August as well. So we'll lose the heat and temperatures pretty near average, it looks like, as we go through the first half of August. Thanks for watching this slightly different edition of the WeatherQuest farming forecast. Uh, apologies again that I couldn't be with you on screen, but hopefully um, we'll be back to the normal routine uh, in our next week's forecast. Thanks again for watching.